Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. For those of you who have not seen any of my previous videos, Happy New Year everyone. Uh, today we are going to face the boss of the secret laboratory, I almost said the uh, gaming dungeon. I realized, yeah, you kind of did that before, dummy. But we're going to fuse some Persona. And I'm going to skip forward as usual so I don't waste your whole lot of your time for me going, um, I don't know what to do, so, yep. Alright, so our first fusion is going to be Alarun, Dis, and Mott to make, uh, Lachesis, Lachesis, I, I don't know. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this is one, Garudine, two, something that nulls wind, I don't think I have yet, I, I have no way I think I do, but yeah, I want that Garudine. It doesn't really sound like it's much right now, but trust me, we're going to want that, and I'd like to retain Mudo um, for the future, so, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my, uh, reasoning. I'm not going to say it's good reasoning, plus I could use a fortune persona for the future, so... I mean, generally you want to do it after you get the, uh, social link, but sometimes you want the actual persona to actually help you a little faster in the social link, and this is one of them that I recommend you actually have beforehand. But yep, we're making another, so see you in a minute. Alright, and for our second, we're going to be fusing Samael, Parvati, and Ginbu to form Rangda. Main reason being, repel. Physical, I like keeping room reinvigorate, or invigorate. And another, you know, dying spell isn't really ever bad, but I love having a repel physical, especially for random battles and sometimes boss fights. Now, by no means do you need a Repel Physical for this boss fight. I'm just getting this out of the way right now because I haven't fused for quite some time. Now, there are, there is at least one thing if you do not want this next boss fight to turn into a big, big, huge chore, is you want something with Dukaja and Dukunda, I think. You want both of them. Well, you don't really need the one that cures your party, but you really want to have the one that dispels the boss, because if you do not, well, let's just say you're going to learn why, because I pretty much demonstrated, not intentionally, but I demonstrated exactly why. Now, this is a uh, confusion or poison mist. I, I think mustard bomb would probably be better than poison mist. I don't remember ever actually using Rongda, so, you know, this was the... The one time if if someone had not been kind enough to enlighten me what Mustard Bomb does, this would have been when I found out, but thank you to, you know, the person that was actually nice enough to tell me what it does. Now, you're probably wondering, why is that thing going to learn Repel Physical? It already repels physical. The reason is, you want that, you actually will keep that, or at least I will anyway, is because whenever I fuse Rangda, I want that next thing to, you know, have Repel Physical if it doesn't have it natively, and uh, odds are it probably will not. So that will be one of those keep skills for sure. So let me save here real quick, and we shall be going into the boss battle. I'm probably going to have to end up cutting in the middle of the boss battle. I hate doing that. I'm going to try, if all possible, not to because, well, it just seems like bad mojo to cut right in the middle of an action scene, now doesn't it? I don't even know what Mojo is, but it's probably bad if, you know, that's probably the bad version of doing that. But yeah, thankfully we don't have to go through any more, you know, hassle, we just go straight there. Now, remember what I said? You definitely want to have something with Dakunda. I think it's Dakunda, not Dakaja. Having both is great, but this next boss uses elemental attacks, and if you're using the same people I am, which you're awesome if you do, you're still awesome if you don't, but you know what I'm saying here. You will, someone will probably get knocked on their butt here, and you, they will gain an extra turn, and they will buff the crap out of themselves using Heat Riser. 
Actually, you know what, on second thought, I don't really want Wrong to in this because she's weak to ice. I want Kukurahime to start with. Because I don't think the boss actually has shadow attacks. I'm pretty sure it just has elemental. So, yep, let's get going. Nato! Ah, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Nautokun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you! These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth! The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth! No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes! It's your brain they're interested in, the gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace, detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it! Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure! You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... Did I hear that right? He's not a guy? I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, Naoto-kun, and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> As if you know anything about me. You'll kick my ass, huh? 
Fine. Go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile. Save the discussion for later. Here it comes. I am a shadow, the true self. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? Very well. Then let's begin this special operation. Bring it on, man! I'll pull you through this! Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence. Now, while this boss I've never actually died to, I do not recommend you rest on your laurels here. This boss has a wide variety of attacks, including a very powerful physical attack and a wide variety of <laughs> elemental attacks. And while Nico Shogun is a bit, you know, risky, I think it's worth the risk to try and make sure nobody gets knocked on their butt. Here goes! Push it time! Whether this is a fruitful endeavor or not, we shall soon see. I could just be wasting precious, precious SP by debuffing. Oh, I forgot he can actually debuff, or Ooh, not up. debuff, but he can also cleanse. Yeah, I played a Paladin in World of Warcraft, but in a, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. I would like to cast Masu Kukaja, but is it really worth it? Well, he who dares wins, right? I do not want to get hit, and I would rather not miss and whiff either. Here goes! Persona! Ooh, that was actually pretty nice, Kanji, but unfortunately I think that's just because he has to our god job. Yep, I totally forgot to take off those sweatpants. <laughs> and I'm not talking about what I'm wearing. I don't know why anybody would be... You know what, no. Anyway, yeah, that is really not a good thing for Kanji to be wearing because it only lasts three turns. I really should have... Yeah, whoops, my bad. I really should have changed that. Here goes! Perfect time! I don't like having to use physical attacks during boss battles. At least, not until I have to. They do usually do more damage, but you know that whole self-damaging thing usually not worth it in the big in the big battles. And see, the Sukakage is paying off. Except you know, Chie did the whole counter thing. Hopefully, she continues to do that. Here goes. This is going pretty smooth sailing here so far. Let's hope it stays that way, eh? I am thou. No, no, that will never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. Okay, Senpai, hang in there. Well, they'll run everybody's defense. My bad, guys. That's actually not as threatening as it probably sounds. At least I've never found it that threatening. I may just be ignorant, but uh, yeah, there are a lot worse things he could have done there. She? He, she? We're gonna say she. There's a lot worse things she could have done with that extra turn. Persona! Here goes! Persona! As long as I can keep a steady DPS, this should be alright. Uh, and 
I noticed magic misses a heck of a lot less than physical attacks. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but you don't really want to keep innervation on someone. Having your stats halved is really kind of detrimental. Of course, as I say that, I'm not actually healing, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it before they get a turn, rest assured, and I'm, I'd rather not keep that. Now, if you want a lesson, watch. This is exactly why you want Funa. Yes, this is, might be a little confusing. I do a mixture of both live and post, but at this point, I had not. I had not realized I had Bakunda. I'm blind, of course, as we remember from previous episodes, that I forgot that Sarasvati actually has Nakunda, so I decided to just try and brute force this. And you notice we're doing a heck of a lot less damage. You need to cure the billet that you do not want to be taking even more damage. That, Senpai, your defense has been lowered. that will get you killed in this. So at this point I'm just trying to uh, <laughs> you know, trying not to die here. I'm really trying to find anything that can cure me for this. Because I, I was like, well, Sukakaja could you know at least make it so I'm not going to get hit, but I Nagunda. Ah, Titan actually has a use. Oh yeah, I'm using a level 14 persona in the middle of this boss fight. Yes, all for me. Nobody matters but the main character. But no one matters but you and me. All right. Well, they matter, but you know, not enough to conserve SP. Yeah, that is why you want to get rid of it, because you will miss a heck of a lot more if you do not dispel that. Oh, I've had it with you! And you will, that will lead to a lot more SP being lost, and, well, that's just never good. I can't think of one single instance that would be a good thing to have happen. I am now. At least not in this game, I think I remember a Shin Megami game where if you had less SP, it was actually good, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I'm getting off topic now, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I don't think there's a... No, I'm not wasting a supersonic. I... I... No, that's just not a good idea. Here goes! Persona! Oh, Conti. Stop missing. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Yukiko-senpai needs help! Good lord. Well, this could be bad. In a very in very short order. I might just die here. I've never died to this boss before. I'm going to beat Crow if I do. And hopefully not Yatagaras, who uh, he looks kind of mean. Probably kind of stringy. Can someone heal Yukiko-senpai? I don't know if he's a crow or not. All I know is I don't want to get hit. Screw getting hit. Uh, no, me. I'm not dying. Yeah, we'll get around to it. Don't worry, you can go, you can heal yourself, right? I am now. Oh, you just saved your own bacon there. I, you probably wouldn't have died. Well, um, maybe not. I think it only done like 280 damage or so. 
I hate to do this, guys, but I gotta cut right in the middle of a boss fight. I'll see you in a minute.